so yes, finally, 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 the quest is back on the road really quick. So the of course, talking about videos, so this is actually is a yeah, ten pre recording to discuss. Are you excited about the first video I did? But yeah, of course, we got new info, new news, of course, for the um, three infusions. Uh, Goku and Vegeta, they go to Gogeta, and of course, Goku and Vegeta goes into the Vegeta. So, yeah, even though I know technically this Vegeta should be technically a new Vegeta, like, oh, te like, actually, uh, I gotta get my for a second. Actually, uh, it's um it's Vegeta from um the, the Vegeta he shouldn't have the, the but the, oh, I was gonna say I was gonna say the Vitara on because he doesn't have that on in um, anime at all in Super Saiyan it's kind of like avoided because he never like turned Super Saiyan and he wears the Vitara I just kind of noticed that actually it's pretty cool I just noticed that actually after all my years seeing this part I just actually noticed that that's actually kind of crazy I don't know kind of crazy yeah actually uh is Angel Vegeta should be Angel. Uh, yeah, like it's like the what if universe, like what if Vegeta was alive when Super Saiyan had the talk last year. I just know that though. But yeah, and Goku does own um, the other his Vegeta, Super Vegeta, other, his other Super Vegeta SCR counterpart, but still. But yeah, though, again, like I said, I'm gonna probably bring this really quick to kind of talk about and go over the games and stuff like that though. But yeah, they are with um, the Goku in um, excellent um, right here. This is the new Nightmare one. But yeah, uh, this is the weakness, of course, for the anti Vegeta. He is weak to um, Last Resort. So this um, Last Resort, and of course, um, Vegeta, um, no, Gogeta is Vegeta, I was it gonna be, whatever, um, Go Vera, whatever, uh, of course. Uh, this is for in Vegeta, he's working his last resort, uh, so found a trump card, that's how to go over to session, he's infused fighters, um, for the physical Gogeta. I, I always mess up there, um, but yeah, uh, this is the fighter category, basically, every fusion, pretty much, Super 17, um, them, again, like every pretty much fusion and like. Um, yeah, pretty much every fusion, I'm not joking. Sure. Fusion, Batara, pretty much the category really one in that show. It's actually pretty good. Final Trump card technically was that, and this is Final Trump card right here. And then the two teams got kind of some buffs during this anniversary, though. Yeah, I mean, this team is pretty much every now or nowadays, I'll say. Even Kaki Goku's on here, too. He's uh, good. probably going to be on some of the best later, though, because he does all struggle, and um, this is all struggle. Is it all struggle? No, this is um, Final Trump card. That's so stupid. Because I go crazy. It's Final Trump card, just go. I can definitely remember that. Uh, they struggle against Boo. I mean, he really did. He used to put power on struggle on him, so yeah. The hood just missed it. But yeah, um, again, this category is just still disgustingly broken as it was day one, those, yeah. But like I said, though, on YouTube, I finally got the easy edit after a long time. Like, when they first came out, when they first, like, actually, when they first got the M on, I found them out on Global, and I was, no, it was JP, I think. Um, it was JP. Um, I, I was thinking Global, whatever. Um, yeah, and I figured out, I was like, what? Because I think. Out of every anniversary unit, these two pretty much surprised me the most. Super Saiyan Force Strikes is really good. It's the one that they gave for a long time. Gogeta and Geneva were already leaked. I was already excited about that. But the three years just kind of came completely out of nowhere. We had no like, like no leaks, no nothing. We had like I don't think any even like I didn't think they were doing. They were doing Vegeta news, but we knew nothing. Like they didn't put the anniversary units into it at all. So we uh, we knew nothing at all. So we were just like I was hyper guys. I was just like, what the heck are these units like? Hello? Like... What? Like, they, they, they literally came out of nowhere. Like, legit came out of nowhere. They were just all, like, confusing the Fabergast. Like, what is Jews doing here? Like, why? Is there Goku Vegeta from the like, Gogeta movie in the animations all the time? I like this when the animation started actually getting like, more detailed, more good. The President Goal, when they came out, I was just... I was excited. I was happy. It was cool. I was like, holy crap. Yeah, when they first came out originally, my virtual thoughts were like... I saw Vegito, I think I saw him first. I was like, what the heck? I remember Speedy back in the day. I remember he did his video. They broke him down. That did my video like a couple minutes later. I was just like, I was like, yeah, these unions actually did legit surprise me because they came out of literally thin air, nowhere, like the fifth year. I was like, we, we I was like, yeah, Goku, Vegito, Vegito, woohoo, yay. Uh, last year, you got Goku, I believe, with Vegeta. Well, this year, we knew nothing either, and I looked at it, like, oh yeah, double Gogeta and stuff like that. I was like, nah. But then I was like, oh, oh, it's a guy Goku and Vegeta. I had Gogeta animation. They have a regular Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta, Goku Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Like, that actually, this year actually is probably like just out of like third year and sixth year, it completely surprised me. Like, yes, yeah, seven year, I'm gonna say seven year now. I think it was the seven year really surprised me. And last year, six year, it was like, oh yeah, you got Goku, I believe, with Vegeta. Woohoo, that's so beautiful and perfect though, but um, yeah. But yeah, though, of course, time to go to the users and stuff like that, of course, so, um, yeah. Or well, weaknesses, all everything though, of course, though, so yeah, let's get started though. Of course, thank you to the correction, of course, um, for all the translations, and of course, um, I would say, I was, hopefully I'm not mis mispronouncing it, of course, Harry, I would say, like, Asana, because I was like, son, Asana, 
I always get that or you know sign. Um for all the info of course um for all like the doking.com info and of course all the um, transitions from Crush. So of course to get started though for all the info of course. But I actually read all the info and stuff like that. I don't know what they do, they're actually really good. Um but yeah, of course with Vegeta slash you know Gogeta but uh, Vegeta go whatever. I'm gonna say Vegeta, I don't care, I'm going with Vegeta. Um in Vegeta, he does Patara key three, everything got 180, really good, or um intake key three, everything got 120. Again, some more little bit like stuff like that, but it's actually really good. You get a combination of both video skills and stuff like that, of course. Um actually yeah, my camera, whatever, um I don't care. Uh the 12 key race activist for one turn, cost of damage. Uh, the 18 key race attack to fint up for one turn, no cost of damage. The passive, deck plus 180 and start of turn, the MCs are clean to crit, the MCs are bidding as enemies attacks. Um, plus two key in addition per round with plus 13, performs a guitar fusion with continuous turn back. It's just simple well, again, they pretty much but all they really did, I think they really all they really did is give them like crit and dodge pretty much for them. So yeah. Uh, of course, when they go to Vegeta, in terms of this condition, they'll change, and Google Bytes won't change. They never change at all for reasons anyway, though, so don't bust yourself, don't hurt yourself. Really, don't pop a blood vessel, or don't try to, you know, fall out of the sky blood. They're gonna change their leader skills, or active skill conditions, blah, 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 blah. They're not, they don't, don't do it. So, the 12th key question to Vegeta is, race to get up for one turn, but maybe cost the damage. Um, the 18th key is, race to greatly raise attack and defense up. A great great way defense and make the cost damage. Okay, this is actually okay. And um restore to allies. No um restore sound restores. Um of course your allies get 30% attack up, um 30 percent attack for one turn as you're doing super attack. So doesn't even really do real allies, they're gonna get more attack. Every video kinda of did that back in the day, even the I think the tech yeah, because ammo was more the tag, the tech one thing there most, but so yeah, uh the pass of 30 is the pass of 4 Vegito. Well records HP only once, um counters no more text with no more text with your power. Defense for two hundred percent. So the turn reduces damage received by thirty percent. Three turn for three turns from the first appearance reduces damage received by uh, fifty percent starting from the first from the fourth turn from the first appearance. Key three um, per round with key fourteen. So yeah, they're pretty much actually what they did before again. Like, this is just the same exact passive just me uh, just crit and a dodge pretty much against me. And chance was just still good again. Like I said, this is completely the same. This is pretty much completely the same. This goes up a little bit though. That one eighty is insane. I think that's probably the best one in the game so far right now. I think nothing really beats 180, that's insane. Again, well, 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 a lot of people are like, oh, 160, blah, 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 but it's like they still really good, though. 180 is really good. But yeah, all they really did for this passive, though, it just gave them, I think, like, for three turns reducing damage and stuff like that. Again, I gotta get widely limited to that, because a lot of people go, like, oh, three turns, but it makes sense because literally, like, it make it, cause they're already discussingly broken. But Vegito's gonna be, for Vegito specifically, it's gonna be really good, because longer offense and stuff like that, of course. And give them full crit, which you actually should do, because. I mean, other than me, I'm just a crit already, though, but when they go to Vegeta, they lose that thing. So make sure to give them full crit, um, get those piercing, you know, normal attacks to fight, of course, because, again, normal attacks don't do anything very much nowadays, but like, normal counters pretty much do nothing. But if you get add crit on there, like Truth says, again, full crit does change that as well. Adding full crit, boom, that's all you got really. That's all you have to do. Add, it's just go full crit. Again, they're heavy boats and dodged from the digital system. Here, additional and stuff like that, of course. And they're really good balancing up there, again, like I said. Again, reducing damage for three turns, again, like that's kind of lit, but it's going to be really good and stuff like that, of course. But, so, this is going to be really good for like longer events, again. Maybe nothing for like the three turns, but the reducing damage is going to be really good for like, even for like, a little bit of time. And the more normal piercing attacks you get, you have more counters. The more you have full crit, boom, there you get really good for longer events. So, Gogeta is pretty much the same exact thing, though, just for fusion and, of course, physical attacking. Same, um, SAPX, same passive, pretty much, though. So, yeah, pretty much the same, same points I had, though. But the passive right here, of course, I think it's the same as well. Yeah, same thing as well. Um, but I think now... Okay, no, the passive is different, though, because he now for his passive, I think it's the same thing for Gogeta, Gogeta? Yeah, but I think his SA effect is different, though. Uh, for him, he greatly raises the defense for one turn. Was an 18 key soul launcher. Greatly raises the defense for one turn. Make a call for damage enemy and greatly raises defense. Pretty good. That's actually really good though. And the passive, I think it's pretty much the same thing. That recovers HP, but now he's effective against all types. And at start of turn, gets 200 percent attack, um, attack and defense. Forms a crit and has a gains a high chance of evading in his attacks. For three turns from the first appearance, gains a high chance of performing a crit and medium chance of evading in his attack. Two attacks for fourth turn from first appearance, key three, and additional crit evasion. So yeah, basically the same thing we did before, but now he actually has crit basically built in, which makes sense again. Like I said, a lot of crit, like in you know, like blue Gojira, like auto crit and stuff like that, of course. So honestly though, um, 
Again, yeah, if you're having fun, I honestly just go for additional at this point, though, honestly, just because, again, like I said, you're gonna, the more, because we have, like, boats and crate, they don't plan any extra crate on there, just doing, you know, high prior to crate. But on top of that as well, like, for, um, longer events, but that's gonna help out a lot, though, as well. But, um, the crate might run out, but it still has a high chance of doing that anyway. Medium chance of doing that anyway, though, at least passive, because Vegito is more like normal attacks. Again, like I said, you're gonna want to go for, the problem with him is that, um, you want to go for, you know, crit so you can maximize your normal attacks, because, Maximize your um, counters because the more crit you have and the higher chip in, because again, like I said, the counters don't do anything anymore though. But when you add crit on top of that, if you have a full crit with the normal counters you can do, it's gonna do chip damage, it's gonna help out a lot in longer events. You know, even reduce damage for your free turn. That still is really good though. But for, for good, yeah, pretty much is like just full power. Like you just want to go destroy events and stuff like that, of course, though. But, um, yeah, again, it's kind of differentiating them a little bit, though it's different. I like that, though, when they go like this. Because it's good to see, like, in Legendary Goku, maybe even the Red Zone, you're going to see them, like, transform and stuff like that, though. Even they may not want it, though, it's still going to be really good, though. But yeah, um, overall, I mean, I'm impressed with both of them. Um, I think Goji is a little bit better just because the crit and stuff like that, though, of course, like, crit and... Very, like, you know, they both pretty much have both in Dodge, but he gets crit, like, pretty much in a medium chance. Um... Pretty much again, like I said, he has crit, and Fedor gets all types, too, as well, though, so you got to to the end, as well. So, um... Yeah, not bad. Again, they're both really good. Again, I'm impressed with both of them. Like they're both really disgustingly good. Again, Vegeta. Again, if you really go full crit for him, go full crit. Maximize the normal counters though, because the more you maximize that, the more damage you can do. Because counters are doing anything, maximize that as well. For me, for Vegeta, just full on crit damage or stuff like that. Go for it. Go full additional and maximize your um attacks more. So again, like I said, you could get like I don't know two additionals. Like you get like another additional. It could be a super attack and it could be a crit. You can have that little final blow finisher. You can get done stuff like that. But yeah, um, I think it's really good as well. Again, they're both really good. I think our point, points flaw and everything for this video, I enjoyed it really well. It's actually really good though, to kind of like go through and break down, go through this stuff like that, of course. But yeah, again, Gogeta, pure raw damage and stuff like that, of course. But like I said, go for additional for him. Specifically, go. I think I like Vegeta a little bit more, but I like Gogeta's kind of better a little bit just because it's crit, but it's just pure raw damage. It's all pretty much, it's like more damage and stuff like that, though. So go for additional. The back of is crit a lot more. So I'd probably recommend doing that, though. And for Vegeta, go, um, Again, full additional right here because you can maximize his crit and stuff like that. Of course, no going full crit, but go full crit for him because, um, again, it might be like, oh, it's a struggle, but no, go full crit for him because you will maximize his normal counter attacks. They will maximize him more so you can do more damage and more tip damage that you're going with the fights. That will help you out again. Full counter for him, even like the, again, like literally like full counter, Mel Alchemist, full Mel Alchemist. Um, one piece, full counter, I'm not joking, really go full addition, full counters on 27 power of fire goes, go full for that so you can basically maximize the number of times. Yeah, it's pretty much everything I want to kind of cover and go with that again, like I said, they're both really good. Um, pretty much got my points out and everything, of course. Full additional, so you maximize his crit, full crit so you can maximize his, um, counters, normal counters. So yeah, see so you guys later though, thank you guys for watching, have a great day, great day, great day, you know, what they say, watch friends, God bless, all of you, God bless, all of you, God bless, all of you, too. So we got to think about all this and full of course, like, too, for the weekend. Very simple, very easy stuff, I like it all, I'm glad we did the video, really, really happy with what I did though. So yeah, um, pretty good stuff though, of course. So yeah, see you guys later though, we'll get them. Peace out.